replacing the chiller. Power the machine off using the on-off switch located to the right of the refrigeration unit. AMS recommends you then remove the bottom two trays. Unplug the chiller above the on-off switch to the right of the fuse box. Remove the temp sensor hooked on the bracket on the right side of the chiller housing. Disengage the probe from the two clips holding the sensor in place. Remove the five 3 8 inch head bolts attaching the chiller cover. Remove the chiller cover by pushing back and to the right, then sliding the cover forward. The cover can then be placed safely out of the way. Remove the four 3 8 inch head bolts from the refrigeration base plate. Remove the screen by pulling the tab toward you. For now, you can set it off to the side. Now switch to a quarter inch socket for removal of the evaporator screws. The evaporator cover has eight quarter inch screws. Once the cover is removed, place it off to the side, holding on to the eight screws for reinstallation. Remove the IEC cover screws. Now switch to a short quarter inch socket for removal of the left side evaporator screws. Again, be sure to keep the screws for later use. Now remove the front two evaporator screws. We will now move the evaporator on to the top of the condenser. Be sure the IEC cover is safely out of the way. Clip the wire tie around the drain hose and move the drain hose off to the right. Place the power plug over the top of the evaporator. Grab the base plate and move the unit forward. Caution! Both the base plate and the evaporator are sharp. Do not grab any copper tubes. Breaking the copper tubes will cause refrigeration to release and void your warranty. Grab the front right corner and the left rear corner and lift. Before placing the unit in the box your new unit arrived in, a must for warranty purposes, the condenser drain pan will need to be removed. To remove the condenser drain pan, Flip the sponges toward you, elevate the discharge, and then swing the condenser drain pan toward you. Now clean the condenser drain pan and rinse the sponges. Then install the drain pan into the new unit, much the same way the drain pan was removed. Place the sponges back in the proper slots. This is a very important step toward ensuring good water disbursement performance in your new unit. When the sponges are inserted properly in the slots provided, the warm air from the condenser flows through the sponges as intended. Now, with the power plug placed over the top of the evaporator, the unit can be placed on the front of the cabinet with the condenser and evaporator facing out. Slide the unit back into place, locating the condenser extension notch and the bolt holes. Once the unit is in place, insert the drain tube through the wire tie and again make sure the sponges are in the alignment slots. Take the plug from the top of the evaporator and plug it into the outlet by the on-off switch. Caution! Make sure the machine is turned off. Remove the evaporator from the top of the condenser and place it against the evaporator housing. Locate the four screws from earlier. Install the front two screws first. Be careful not to over-tighten the screws. For the back two screws, additional light may be helpful in locating the holes. Now reattach the IEC cover box, starting with the bottom screw. Install the eight screws in the evaporator cover plate. Install the four 3 8 inch bolts in the chiller. Install the chiller housing using the chiller housing's 3 8 inch bolts. Check the seal around the housing and be sure you've installed Permagum. The power may now be turned on. We hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have a need for further explanation or would like to discuss some aspect of this video, please call AMS at 304-725-6921 and ask to speak to someone in the Technical Assistance Division of our Customer Service Department. Remember, you can also email us at info at amsvendors.com or visit our website at www.amsvendors.com.